Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proforex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress custom post app tutorial for beginners and this is our part 3. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we register custom meta boxes for our custom post type. Okay, and also guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions that is part 1 and part 2 to understand about this playlist. So basically guys in our previous video session actually we have made a plugin called WP custom post type. By the help of this plugin actually we have registered a custom post type called movie. Okay, and now in our part 2 we have set actually the labels section of our custom post type. Okay, so if I go to administrator panel, this is the movie sections that we have registered. Okay, so what we are going to this video session, this video session we are going to register a meta box to this custom post type that we have made. Okay, so and basically guys we have made the complete playlist about WordPress meta box into different playlist. Okay, so if you haven't watched this video sessions guys then I strongly suggest you to watch this all these video sessions to get the clear vision about WordPress meta box tutorial. Okay, and now if you haven't watched this video session, so don't worry about that. We will use Metabox to this custom post type from scratch. So basically to register a custom Metabox inside our custom post type or any of the WordPress default post types, we need a function called add Metabox. This is the function responsible to register our Metaboxes to any of the post type. And now one more thing that after using this function, we need to hook this function actually inside our action hook called add Metaboxes. Okay, so first of all, just go to editor. Now scroll down. Let's define a function called function WPL OWT register. Let's say CPT register meta box. Okay. Next, we need to hook this function inside action hook called add action and action hook called add meta boxes. Add meta boxes and now in the second parameter we need to pass the callback function that we have defined so inside this function inside this function that we have made we need to use called add meta box so just make copy of that go to editor and paste inside this function okay so step by step we need to pass all the parameters actually there are defined okay and about the parameters you can study from this documentation okay so just back to editor and let's say that first parameter we need to pass inside this add meta box called id okay so let's say that cpt id this is the id that we have defined okay next we need to define called the title so let's say owt custom post type or let's say just get rid of that we need to register a meta box for this movie section so let's say that producer detail okay let's say producer details inside this producer details we will pass some of the basic informations like name and the email okay so in the third parameter we need to call the callback function okay so let's say WPL OWT CPT and this is producer call okay in the next parameter we need to define that is a screen at what a screen actually we want to appear this meta box we want to make this meta box to our custom post type that is movie Okay, so just back to editor. This is the post app that we have registered movie. So just copy this name and passed right here. Okay, so just I am removing extra parameter. So this is the movie actually we want that this meta box should appear. Okay, in the next parameter we need to pass called the context. Context means at what position actually we want to appear. Okay, so if I back to administrator panel, if I click on add new, we want that we should appear that meta box either its normal position default position or at the side position okay so let's pass at the side position we want that that meta box should appear at the side position okay so let's go that and let's pass side and in the side position next parameter we need to pass called the priority of this context what will be the priority if we pass high then instead of this publish our custom meta box should appear okay so let's say high so if I this copy this callback function and let's define called function this is the callback function responsible to make the layout of, of this custom custom meta box okay so if I save this go to administrator panel just refresh that page and now as we can see that producer detail this is the custom meta box that we have registered for our custom post type let's make some of the layout for this producer details custom meta box okay so just back to editor and inside this callback function we need to fix a layout for that so let's say that 
paragraph inside this paragraph let's say label and let's say name okay it will be our input type text let's say input type text name should be something called txt producer name placeholder called something called name okay so this is the actually layout that we have fixed and also guys if you have watched about this video session then you can actually see inside this playlist that we actually used a nonce value while making call of this callback function okay so we are not going to actually use that nonce value again in this video session okay so if I save this go to administrator panel refresh this page and this is the layout as we can see that we have made our input type text of name inside this producer details okay and also let's make some of the parameters again called email just make a copy of that paste here and let's say email okay it should be in input type email and let's say producer email so if I save this refresh this page and now as we can see we actually made two different input type fields inside this producer details custom meta box okay so what actually we are going to do next next after clicking on publish button we need to save all these details corresponding to this movie section okay so just back to editor we want to save this all input type values to our DV to save values from custom meta box we need to use another action hook called save post okay so let's define first add action inside this add action called save post this is the action hook that we have to pass and now in the next function we need to pass the callback actually defined to save this input values okay so let's say WPL OWT this is custom post type and save values okay so just make copy of that and let's define function this function will take some of the parameters from us that is first it's is the priority priority of execution in the next parameter how many of arguments we are going to pass inside this function so let's define number two this two indicates that we are going to pass two parameters inside this function that is first parameter called post it that is post it okay in the next parameter we and we are going to pass called post okay so these are the parameters that we have passed inside this function so basically we have written two here okay so let's say that inside this callback function we are going to now save all these values actually we will get from this meta boxes okay so just make copy of this name section and let's say that txt production name if it is set let's say post if it is set then actually let's say that this is the value in it's inside this post variable and also for the email section again I'm copying this line let's say producer email this is email and now here are all these things okay so we actually we are going to save all these values to our post meta table according to this post okay so just copy this and uh, let's say that update post meta update post meta update post meta is a function guys which basically save any of the post details into our WP post meta table okay so inside this function we need to pass over the parameters first parameter it will take the post ID second parameter it will take the key okay so let's say that producer name okay inside this producer name key let's say WPL underscore production name so production name key, key basically contains this value so just make copy of that and passed here okay in the next step we need to update post meta with the email section as well okay so let's say email and this will contain the value of this email okay so just paste it here so if I save this file go to browser and now if I refresh this page after refreshing let's pass some of the parameters called movie 2 this is the title and let's pass called test name as the name of producer and let's say test at gmail.com this is the email section that we have passed according to these values okay just click on publish button after publish button if you go to our database click on post meta just click on post meta let's make in descending order 
and now as we can see guys these are the information that we have saved WPL producer name WPL producer email okay so these are the information that we have saved from these values okay so just back to edit browser and now we have to actually render those values inside these boxes also okay so how can we do that just back to editor and let's say that we want to retrieve all the saved values okay so inside this function let's pass a parameter called post okay so just make copy of this post and let's say that within this PHP script let's say that name equal to get post meta this is the WordPress function guys which basically takes ID and the key value okay so what actually key we have registered for the name section so name section we have used WPL producer name so just make copy of that and let's pass here and for the single value we need to pass called the true okay so get post meta function return the key value according to this post ID okay so if I copy this name and let's pass inside this value so let's echo and this is the name so if I save refresh this page and this is the name that we have saved according to this post ID that is 23 okay again for the email section just make copy of this line paste here and let's say that this is instead of name its email okay and the key value that we have used for the email section that is WPL producer email so just make copy of that and paste here only we have to assign this value inside this value attribute okay so let's say that value so echo and the email section okay so successfully guys actually if we refresh to our administrator panel then we can see that all these two values now here okay if I click on add new again and let's say that movie 3 let's pass called test name 2 test email it's 2 if I save this file and now if I refresh then as we can see all the details actually rendered according to post type okay this is the post ID 24 so these are our informations regarding 24 ID if I click on all movies if I click on edit or movie 2 these are all informations regarding this is movie 2 okay so successfully guys by this help of video session we actually learned about the custom meta boxes with our custom post type okay so according to summary point of view what actually points we have to remember about the custom meta box registration first of all we have to use called add meta box function to register our custom meta box okay and now after making this call after making this WordPress function call we need to hook this function inside this callback inside this action hook that is add meta boxes okay next parameter we need to set the layout so inside this add meta box function we have passed a callback function inside this callback function we actually register or set or the layout section for that okay to save all the values of all these custom meta boxes we want to use or we have to use called the save post action hook save post basically takes some of the parameters according to that we need to pass okay so inside this callback function we actually saved our database values okay now if while rendering these values we are which we use called get post meta get post meta takes some of the parameters called post ID key name and the, for the single value we need to pass the true okay so guys I think that by the help of this video session I have made much more clear concept about the registration of meta box for our custom post type and also guys if you are interested to get the complete details of our custom meta box then just go to this playlist watch all those video sessions from this playlist here we have details about the complete section of meta box tutorial okay so in this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day